I just wanted to show you guys some of what can be done in Excel. Here we have a little application that I put together over the last week based off of small elements that I've figured out how to work with over the last year. Here we have a bubble chart that depicts information along both XY and some Z coordinate where the size of the bubbles is essentially depicting Z. I have the ability to rotate this graph in a variety of ways along any one of the axes. You're not being shown the axes, but the rotation is certainly there. And we have a bit of a panning and zooming component over here where we can pan in the X direction. Basically, it's a magnifying glass of sorts. And we can pan in the Y as well as zooming in. And as we zoom, the scale is changing. Furthermore, we have a mechanism by which we're detecting what is the central most point being zoomed and panned along. And as we pan, obviously, that point will change. Currently, we're looking at some data, so to speak, relating to music, Rolling Stones hits. And we're being given labels of the names and the data points where the X, Y, and Z axes are defined by the length of the track, the year in which it was made, and its MP3 ranking on Amazon. Now, as you might guess, using the mouse is not the only way to control this. We also have the ability to control things using a game controller. And that's right, we can actually assign values to each of the elements on the game controller, and we would accomplish the same kind of panning and zooming using the game controller as we do using a mouse driven control. And beyond that, we have the added element of being able to take a look at the individual points that have been selected, the central most points again. If I pick, for example, the, the uh, Sympathy for the Devil uh, soundtrack, I can actually activate that. We get a little bit of entertainment there. I can end that at any point. And pan to another one. The importance here is not that I'm creating some kind of a home entertainment system. But really, I'm just trying to point out that this could be any data set. It could be firms out there. We could be graphing them along their ROI, their ROA, uh, stock value at a particular point in time, what year they were founded, what is the income level of their uh, CEO. Any of these dimensions could serve as our X, Y, and Z, and we can rotate those points in space. If we identify things like clusters of firms visually, we can then try to categorize those firms as being special apart from the rest. Keep in mind that all those fancy clustering mechanisms that do exist out there are based on some pretty heavy assumptions, and maybe those aren't the right assumptions for you. The human eye can do a lot better sometimes in meaningfully categorizing points of data, firms, whatever kinds of items we're talking about, in ways that a clustering mechanism automated by some kind of programming might not provide. So being able to visualize points in space can be very valuable. This is, again, just one way of doing so, and it's pretty entertaining.